What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV. In today's gameplay, I've got some fractured gameplay for you. It is pre-patched, so it's only going to go to 60 core file captures. So it is a fairly short video. The commentary is very important. However, it's not necessarily to do with Call of Duty, more, more so to do with YouTube in general. But I didn't want to put it in the bonus videos because I feel like it's an important topic. It needs to be... It needs to be front and center on my channel it needs to be a main video rather than just a bonus video today i want to talk about youtube and proper youtube etiquette how to go about having a small channel on youtube and how to do it professionally and just it's mostly about the comments section it's mostly about people that i've seen people that have tried to talk to me about stuff like this and it's just it's not going to stop this video. I'm making this topic just because I want to discuss this. I want to tell you guys about this. If there are any of you guys out there that have tried this, I want to tell you that you're doing it wrong. But it's definitely not going to stop because it's like it's like a plague on YouTube, the people that do this. And what I'm talking about is, will you give me a shout out? Will you sub for sub? That was a great video, but come and watch mine. This isn't the way to go about YouTube, and the the people that are, are actually going to get places on YouTube know this. The people that are really serious about this as a business, and people that are really serious about making their videos, people that are making their videos very professional-like, are usually really good about this. It's mostly just the really small YouTubers, guys that might be watching me. I know that 9 out of 10 of you guys watching this video are likely small YouTubers yourselves, hoping to make it big, and the harsh truth is none of us are really going to make it big. It's, it's very rare that anybody makes it big, especially gaming YouTubers now in the industry, and... It's just a harsh truth that a lot of us aren't going to make it, but if you're one of these people that is asking for a sub for sub, that is asking people for shoutouts, just bugging people for shoutouts, even though you've not, not done anything, you're going to be the people that aren't going to get anywhere. You're not going to get past 100 subscribers. There are lots of people that are out there uh, sending spam messages and stuff. I've complained about spam before in other videos and on my Twitter page. I get spam like nobody's business. Nine out of ten of my comments are spam comments just saying, Go check out this person. Go subscribe to this person. Watch all their videos. Like all their videos. Comment on all their videos, and you'll be entered in a shout out Sunday draw. And you wouldn't. Have, you'd be amazed how many people have shout out Sunday draws. But going specifically to someone's YouTube channel, a big YouTuber or even a mediocre YouTuber or even a small YouTuber like myself with only a thousand plus subscribers. And just demanding a shout out, going onto live streams, commenting, oh, give me a shout out. Why would I give you a shout out? What did you do for me? Like, you gotta stop. Th okay, it's kind of a it's kind of a double edged sword here. You one, you gotta stop thinking about yourself. Do just only being concerned with yourself isn't gonna get you anywhere on YouTube. It's not gonna get you anywhere in life. Sure, you gotta look out for yourself, but at the same time, you gotta be looking out for other people. You gotta be helping other people out, which is. Another thing, which is the other side where it's, we're all out here looking for, like, we're all out here on YouTube for ourselves. So it's, yes, you are out here for yourself. Yes, you want to make your channel bigger. Yes, you want to grow your audience. But at the same time, you can't just say, come look at my stuff and not provide anything back. Like, it's a give and take. It's a, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. I don't just give out free shout outs. I don't give out... Uh, go and look at this guy's videos. I don't just say that like if you comment on my videos. Say, oh go look at my stuff I'm not gonna say I'm not one if you tell me to go look at your stuff I'm not gonna look at your stuff Two if you tell me that you want a shout out for my fans to go and look at look at your stuff I'm not gonna look at your stuff I'm not gonna tell my fans to look at your stuff if you just kind of happen by and you comment on my video and you're giving me constructive criticism or you're on my videos and you're saying oh that's great I found this blah 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 and you tell me about your video and how it relates to mine I may check out your channel if I go to your video and I find something that inspires me to make my own video, if you have something on your channel that it's interesting to me and I think it's great, I think you make good content, I'll give you a shout out. If you help me in doing a challenge, Renman has helped me countless times. He doesn't even really have a YouTube channel. I give him shout outs like No Tomorrow. I give Mangoes and Whales shout outs lots of times because he's a good friend of mine and he makes great videos that are incredibly underrated. And he doesn't get a lot of viewers and stuff. Did he ever come onto my channel and say, oh, come look at my video? No, he never did. He was just a humble content creator and I found him and I think he does great work. So that's why I give him shout outs. If you demand shout outs of people, you're not going to get them. 
That's not how this industry works. If you want a shout out, you got to provide something back. If you want a shout out, you got to either shout out that person first. You got to go to their channel and, and be really, really active and help them out a lot. You got to help them out with getting their, making their videos. You got to do something like, for example, my first look camo series, I gave people shout outs for giving me clips with camos that I didn't have. That makes sense. That makes sense why I would give you a shout out. Just coming to my channel and saying, give me a shout out. It's not going to happen, and you're not going to get anywhere on YouTube like that. Sub for sub doesn't count for anything on YouTube. What counts on YouTube is getting views, not subs. Subs are just a number. So if you want to come and bother me about giving you shoutouts and giving you subs, do it the right way. Provide me with something first. That's all I had to say in this video, guys. It's just it's such an annoyance when you're on YouTube and people are just are bugging you like, oh, give me a shoutout. No. That's the final answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Let me know your troubles with crazy people on YouTube that want so much of you but will not give you anything in return. In the comment section down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.